What's good? This is Noah from High Snob, and this is day two in Paris. First, we started off with J.W. Anderson. We talked to Jonathan and got to see what he was thinking when he designed this new collection. Then we caught up with the crowd at Louis Vuitton. You already know Louis Vuitton is always an exciting show, so we had to see what the reactions were. Then we checked out the street style at Rick Owens. Last but not least, we had to catch up with our homie here in Preston. It's his third official show in Paris. We had to check it out. Stay tuned. I have been a kind of super fan of David Wojnarowicz for about maybe 15 years. Um, I actually, the first time I came across his work was when I found a book in Montreal in a secondhand shop. Um, and I've worked with him with raising money for visual aids. I've always wanted to use the burning house in Rambon's face, which is from a kind of a kind of iconic moment in in American art. I felt like he is quite of this moment, do you know what I mean? They had amazing retrospective of his work at the Whitney and at the Rena Sophia. And I just, when I saw the show again, I was just like, there's something that what he did in America in that period is kind of like, there was nearly like this moment of no hope, but in the end, it transcends. And and I think there's something in maybe in the moment we're in, it sometimes feels like it's, is there hope? But in the end, it will, it will go to the next thing. And I think there's something about Rembrandt's face in those images where there's clarity, where the world looks blurred, and there's clarity in his face. We started off the season with this idea of clarity. I, I know it sounds a weird way to start, but it was sort of like, how do you find clarity within the DNA that you have already built? You know, and what does your brand mean? I think it was in a weird way a very selfish act this year where I wanted to go back to this idea of where you were basing on triptychs or doubles of looks. So instead of having a hundred looks, you know, it's 30 looks that you want, you know what I mean? It's sort of, it's this idea of like reduction, this idea of clarity within like what we are good at. With the jewelry we had done in the Women's Wear show many, many seasons ago, I, I, I like this idea that it became like Approach. It was like this idea of, you know, status. And I quite like this idea that it became kind of, um, it was like stuck on. It's sort of like, it looks like it's feeding through the jacket, but it's not. Could it be a watch strap? Is it not? You know, like, what could it be, you know? So it was sort of playing on those sort of, I think there's something in JW which is always about kind of like, like cultural anxiety. And you know, there's I feel like there's an anxiety in the look. There's a romance in the look. When you find clarity, you're usually comfortable. And it's usually you know, you know, at Christmas when you're like in watching TV and you're of nothing else to you where you pretend you don't work in fashion, you get clarity on things. And I and I started working with that leading up to Christmas and this idea of like how do you take a step back, look at what you were about without falling off a cliff. And that's why I just wanted it very direct. I didn't want a hundred looks. I wanted something which was very just, this is what we want to say for the next three months. We hung out at the Louis Vuitton show afterwards to see what some of the guests thought about Virgil's newest collection. Every year he does something pretty spectacular, so we had to see what the reactions were. Here's a clip. I love the show and I love Virgil. Bye guys, have a great day. Honestly, I'm blown away. I'm blown away anytime Virgil shows, especially for Louis, but I think this show is really like the next level for you know tailoring from Virgil and uh, really really utilizing the house for what they do best. Um, I think it's a big evolution uh, for what we've seen and in my opinion I think that's his best show to date. I mean, the show is great. I mean, it's good to see. I stopped by his studio yesterday. It's good to see his continued evolution. His health is better. Um, and it came together real well. The theme was, was clear throughout the whole show. Gang, gang, health is wealth. Um, all right, bet. So it was cool. Uh, but yeah, 
I mean, between both, you know, how he's evolving off white and the LV collections, it's great to see. So I'm, I'm proud of him. He's like my big brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I loved it. It's amazing. <laughs> I love it. It was great. Lots of clouds, good shoes, Cybertron. If you know anything about Rick Owens, then you know that he probably has one of the strongest fan bases in fashion. So we had to hang out and see what the street style was outside of the show. Please take a look. It's starting to become tradition for everyone to run from the Louis show to Heron Preston show. It's now his third official collection, and it was really everything. Every year he always has a new collaboration. This year he had one with Kat and a few other really exciting ones. We caught up with him afterwards to see what he was thinking when he designed this new collection. Check it out. Okay, cool. So we're here with Heron Preston. What's up? The show just ended. It was beautiful, man. Thank you so much. Um, first off, what were you thinking when you said, all right, man, we got to work with Kat now? Iconic American workwear. The men and the women who build the streets that we walk on, the houses we live in, the doers of the world. That's streetwear to me. And I also saw that you had really sick patches, like the army patches on yeah. the... Yeah, it's like yeah, right here we are, yeah. Um, so can you talk about that a little bit too? Yeah, so this is a collaboration with the, uh, the Ministry of Defense, uh, our, our, Her Majesty's Ministry of Defense. Um, so this is all about protecting wildlife in Africa, anti-poaching and um, protecting animals from going extinct. So I work directly with the military who actually works in Africa with the African Parks Organization, um, which helps to protect animals. Um, so a portion of proceeds from this collection will actually be donated to the African Parks Organization. And so a lot of the patches, you know, represent kind of what the collection is all about, like this rhino right here. Um, and a lot of the patches which are official from the military. So I really want to know, how do you, you know, reinvent yourself, but also kind of introduce yourself to that new customer that might just now f find out who Aaron Preston is? You know, I kind of just want to stay true to who I am and true to my story and not kind of expand too far out of that. Um, and just continue to kind of stay consistent with those stories and my message about sustainability and kind of making the world a better place. You know, the title of the show, It's All Good, It's All Fucked, comes from a poem actually by, um, uh, a writer named Juliana Sp Spar, um, and it describes this apocalyptic kind of scene, but yet people are dancing and having fun. We have no choice but to move on. Even though things may be ending, that also represents new birth, new ideas, new solutions. That is why the set looks the way it does. Some panels are off, some are on. So it's kind of like picking apart what doesn't work and putting it back together in better ways, new solutions, new ideas. And then to me, that's kind of a reflection of like, the world is basically a construction zone unlike one we've ever seen. 
It's complex. There's hyper objects like climate change that we can't really hold, but we know it exists. We're experiencing these things. So it's these big challenges. Like I like to kind of take on, you know, I, I like to do things that are hard, not easy. Um, and kind of, kind of starting there and rebuilding what doesn't work. You know, I'm not on schedule this year. It's kind of like shaking up the system a little bit. You know, do we have to adhere to tradition? Can we change it? You know, kind of looking at, imagine going to a restaurant. If you don't like your dish, or your drink, you know it's possible to change it. We're aware of that, right? So it's about an awakening. It's about kind of being woke. This moment, like, wait a minute, this is not right. Like, actually, it's this revelation that of possibilities that we can actually change things. We don't have to stay the same. So that's kind of what the whole entire collection is about. It's like rebuilding it. You got to wear the workwear to do that. You know, like who's gonna who's gonna really take on these big challenges? It's gonna be a lot of workers. You know, so this is the collection that I really wanted to kind of symbolize that change. And the last question, how much do you think it's, like how important do you think it is to, you know, have a message in your collections, but then also just make something that's fly? Yeah, just make something that's just dope. You know, you know? yeah, that's also just like the balance that I want to have a story and I want it to um, make sense. But at the end of the day, like, I still feel like I'm a big kid and I just want to just do cool shit. I just want to just design things that are fresh at the same time. So it's kind of having that balance of, you know, having kind of a strong points of view on something, but then having fun, you know, at the same time. Well, man, that nylon suit was fire. Thank you, that was Vortex. The boots, the boots were crazy. Yeah, I love those boots. And uh, the heels, the heels, the level heels. You know, life is all about balance, you know, that's the story there. I feel like there's so many kind of like ways you can kind of twist that shoe. I've been seeing the comments online, it's like, there's levels to this, you know, new levels. So there's so many nicknames that that shoe is going to get. But I'm really excited about, you know, pushing. It's all about pushing and challenging myself and my teams to be better than the last show, last collection, last ideas, you know, kind of keep stepping up, you know, um, your own craft learning new things, not getting too comfortable with where you are, you know, it's just, everything is practice. Well man, congratulations once again, man, Thanks beautiful so show. Much. All right, so that's day two in Paris. Thank you for hanging out with us. If you want us to check out anything, make sure that you let us know in the comments. What was your favorite thing? Who do you want us to talk about next? Stay tuned for day three. Peace. Ooh.